I've said in several videos that if you don't know that uh, Barack Obama is the Antichrist, then you're not born again. Uh, people have taken a lot of affront of that, naturally, but um, I'm back to that state because I do believe that, and praise the Lord, he is about to be um, exposed. Um, but I just want to show you one of the things. This is when he was, this is from the Time magazine, and here he was when he was... Um, just been nominated as a part for president and you see the um, trinkets that they say he carries around in his pocket in his pocket and amongst them is the uh, the Indian monkey god but um, there are other there's the um, gambler's bracelet bracelet so it's the Hindu monkey god the only thing slightly Christian is the Madonna um, you know, but, uh, you know, not a cross in sight. And this is a man pretending to be Christian. But unfortunately, I've, that's the case with most of you, um, I, I believe. And when I see um, a video like the one that I just put up getting five thumbs down, when all it is, you know, it's just extolling God or, or his word or um, a, another man's um, um, godly visions... Yeah, I have to wonder, you know, and I, you know, I just could pull my hair out, but, you know, I just have to accept that many of you, and most of you, I would say, are not born again. So, um, you know, sadly, <laughs> the Lord um, has um, opened that understanding to me today and um, while you are happy to sort of get your teaching from those who are also not born again those who say that they are woke um, is not born again and as Jesus said in John 3 3 unless you be born again you cannot unless you be is born and um, truly truly I say to you unless one is born in you he cannot see the kingdom of God <clears throat> Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And that is um, where we're at now. And that is why some of you, you know, you cannot recognize what this means symbolically. But the Lord opened it to my attention to say something to you today when I opened up this Bible to this um, image there. Now, this is Artemis. And um, so she's the fertility goddess. And um, I'll just read what it says here. While Apollos was at Corinth, so this is the other Apollon, and I was very frustrated when I gave my information to, um, to Jacob Israel, and he w was not ans interested in answering my question about Apollo and Abaddon, you know, which I keep asking um, people to just please, you know, explain to me. Um, how the, the um, person in there, the, the identity in there who is sent to earth to destroy Satan, how he can be Satan, um, with the way that we've been told. But nobody wants to go near that question. And um, because of the repercussions, they realize once you know, once they wake up to that, the whole narrative that they have believed falls apart. So they just rather believe the lies and keep the status quo. And so Jacob, um, instead of answering my question or looking at Apollo, he decides to look at Artemis, you know, um, Apollo's sister. And um, so here it's talking about um Artemis here, and this was her temple was uh, you know one of the seven wonders of the world. And um, this is um, Acts um, 19. While Apollo was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus. So this is the third missionary, I can't quite understand. Um, came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples and said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, no, we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, into what then were you baptized? They said, into John's baptism. 
and Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied, there were about 12 of them in all. Okay, so then they get into a big argument about um, Artemis. And um, because, of course, they were making idols to Artemis and the men of the city were making a lot of money. But I just stick up to this point at the moment that many of you believe just because you have said the sinner's prayer that you are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, I know um, that I was I did the sinner's prayer and I was a Christian all my life. Um, well, yes, I was. <laughs> and I was baptised at a brethren camp when I was 12. Um, and, um, and, and uh, you know, but it wasn't until I was 30 um, or 23, I think, yeah, 23, 1974, um, that, um, you know, I had the, the experience of, of a, a dream, a vision, in which I saw um, a film running, or two films. One was showing, you know, if I died that night, um, you know, what the Lord, you know, if I belong to the Lord, you know, his plan for my life. And the other one was showing the plan that Satan had. And I knew that if, um, without a shadow of a doubt, I believed that if I died that night, I would belong to Satan. And so that was even after I had given my heart to him at such an early age and had always been, um, you know, a, a believer in God. And, you know, so. And then, you know, when I got did get b baptized and born again, although I can't quite remember which came first, it wasn't until I asked for the Holy Spirit. You know, I asked to have me prayed for, to, to receive the gift of tongues, and that I had, you know, my hands laid on me. And um, even though the people, they prayed and prayed, it was a couple came, Chris and Jenny Malpaz came and prayed for me that I might receive tongues. And I prayed and pr they prayed and prayed for hours, it seemed, and nothing happened. You know, I just wouldn't let, it couldn't come out at all. But then a few days later, I was just sitting on the bed, um, reading the Bible, and out, out it came, out it came. So I knew, knew that I had been baptized in the Holy Spirit. So, you know, for those of you who think um, being woke uh, is enough, you're going to go broke, <laughs> you know, because it isn't. You know, you've only just started, and just as these, um, you know, the the word says here shows quite clearly that just by being even baptized, because I know many of you aren't even baptized, but you just, you know, believe that um, saying the the sinner's prayer is enough to, um, well, get you saved. I'm not talking about that, um, but to have you filled with the Holy Spirit. And if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, then you don't have the power that's why you. That's why you can't recognise Satan. That's why you. You know, are in the flesh. You know, as Jesus said, um, if, if when you are in the flesh, that the spirit cannot, that the flesh cannot see how the wind blows. He says, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you cannot hear the sound of it, but you do not know whence it comes from or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. So. You know, um, so this is, you know, how I know that so many of you are not saved, you know, that you could um, deny God's holy presence, you know, all the miracles that I have shown you and you have been so hard and so cruel um, just shows me that that you just idolize Artemis, you know, and that is exactly where this whole world is at, I believe. And um, I equate Artemis because it's like the Diana as well. So just what um, Jacob Israel did, um, you know, preferred the female, the female go goddess. Now she is the, was meant to be the sister of Shiva. Now, I, and I believe Shiva is related to Abaddon. So Shiva is the, the, um, the male version of this. And, um, and Kali, actually is standing on top of her, Shiva and destroying him. So, 
and this is why this is the tongue so you know all the the stars that stick their tongue out this is what um, um, that's all about you know she is called the black tongue and as you can see here it says Kali is the 3,000 year old feminist icon we need today um, wild naked her tongue sticking out an uncomfortable feral image of force bursting sheer power okay so this is her and of course she relates um, she relates to to um, uh, Babylon she relates to the, the the Queen of Heaven and that unfortunately is um, the whole Babylon and who most of you um, are under you know you're under this the false religion the false the false goddess so you know read um, you know what is also interesting about this is that um, you know Paul didn't um, didn't come against the, the followers of, of Artemis you know they just walked on my battery's going that's all I need to know you know but please uh, you need to be have hands laid on you for you to receive the Holy Spirit spirit it does not come just by speaking that word and I hope that um, was made praying to you today God bless you all in Jesus name